there and needed to get inside to where we could do whatever we needed to do uh, for the students, for one, for our staff members, and for the situation. A Dalton school resource officer is talking about the day in February. Police say a high school teacher barricaded himself inside a classroom and fired a shot. Officer Bart Chandler helped guide officers through the school to respond to the call for help. Channel 3's Cameron Taylor walks us through the actions that kept everyone safe. At the time, Dalton Middle School did not have a full-time SRO, so Officer Chandler was splitting his time between the middle and high school campuses. When the call came in, Chandler was five miles away. We rode along with him to talk about what happened next. We have a threat locked down at Dalton High School. It's the radio call Officer Bart Chandler trained for, but did not expect while on patrol five miles away. The biggest thing was to get back on campus. Officer Chandler relayed information to dispatchers. I was trying to make sure they knew exactly where they needed to go once they got on campus uh, and, and take them to that door. That door led to classroom 413, where police say teacher Randall Davidson locked himself inside with a 38 caliber pistol. I was notified by the school staff that he had fired a shot. 533 Dalton did by shots fired inside of his classroom. He's going to be on the 400 hall when he enters through the west entrance. A 911 call led police to believe a student may be inside the classroom. Hey, this is 911. What's going on? Shooting at Dalton High School. On our drive with Officer Chandler, it took a little over 12 minutes to get to the high school. Day of the scare, it took him half that time. I did not want to get into an accident on my way over here. If I can't make it here, I can't help anyone. But I didn't let any grass grow under my car on the way either. Several patrol cruisers were already there when Officer Chandler arrived. He grabbed his long rifle and ran inside. By then, students had evacuated. And we're loading buses bound for the nearby convention center. Uh, we're about to make entry. I got several units showing up with me right now. Uh, when I went in, it was locked down. A total lockdown. Uh, no one's moving around. Students weren't here. It was just quiet. Fairly quiet. Officer Chandler was most familiar with the school and its staff, so he was the one to call Davidson's classroom. The biggest thing going through my mind at that point was just get out of the room. Let's get this over with and let's let's safely end this however we need to do so everybody goes home and I, I i kid around with kids all the time but that's ultimately my mission is everybody goes home at the end of the day and everyone did okay he's looking for gun down he's coming he's coming out guys be prepared man be advised we got him in custody we're checking his room now the negotiation lasted 20 minutes but officer chandler says it felt like much longer it was a long time that day a long day that ended peacefully with no injuries some might say officer chandler is the thing but he doesn't see it that way. It's not a one-man show. The, the day happened. The day went the way it did. Uh, I did my job, what I was supposed to do. I'm glad the good Lord allowed it to end the way it did. Randall Davidson is still in jail and faces a long list of charges. Dalton Middle has since filled its SRO vacancy, so Chandler is back at the high school full-time. The incident has prompted discussions about school safety, and this summer intruder locks will be installed at the high school, adding one more layer of school security. In the studio, Cameron Taylor, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.